Hi guys, and thank you for joining me again on my channel today. If you've been following my YouTube channel and my recent videos, you'll see I've done a lot of videos about Pinterest and how you can create some amazing pins using Canva Pro and put them over to your Pinterest uh, blog to hopefully drive some great organic traffic over to your website. Now in my last video where I showed you how to create five awesome pins in under 10 minutes using Canva Pro, I forgot to tell you how to actually add them to the WordPress blog. And this has been pointing out by a couple of uh, followers who've asked me to do a video showing you how to create a pin and add it actually to your WordPress blog, not just to your Pinterest board. So yeah, as always, I listen to what you guys say and I've created this short video now uh, showing you how to make a pin and then add it to your WordPress blog. Now, as always, this is how I do it. There may be other ways, there may be simpler ways, but this is how I do it and I find it easy and I find it very effective. So let's head over to the computer now and I'll show you how I do it. So here we are over at keywordcare.com, one of my niche websites, and we're gonna add a pin to one of these pieces of content. So uh, I've got the, uh, an article here, uh, a review of Project 24, Income Skills um, uh, Affiliate Marketing Course. I'm going to add a pin to that. So if we click into the um, article and click edit. So as you can see here, we have a, a nice article, usual format for a review, lots of images and lots of content, uh, but no pins. So nothing to pin to Pinterest. So I'm going to add a pin, create and add one at the top of this uh, article here. And to do that, we're going to use Canva. I use Canva Pro. So let's head over to Canva now and I'll show you how to create one. Okay, so here we are over at Canva. Uh, this is uh, the uh, pro version that I use, which gives you a lot more options. Now, I'm an affiliate for it. I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to purchase Canva Pro. I think it's $10 a month, something like that. It's really, really worth it. The options you've got for creating infographics, pins, banners, images. I mean, their, their image library alone is worth the money. There's hundreds of thousands of images license-free that you can use on any of your websites. So, just for that alone, it's far cheaper than using something like Adobe Stock Images. So here we are anyway, let's create a pin. So just click the Pinterest pin. And it comes up with lots of options on the left hand side that you can choose. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose because you're going to heavily edit it anyway. Um, but let's just go with this pin. So the first of all, we need to change the background. So you just highlight that, delete the background. So it's about making money, obviously, an affiliate course. So I'm just going to grab any background that's kind of to do with money and related to money. And then we can change this um, symbol there. And then we can simply go and find a logo. So income school, income school logo, go to images and we'll grab one of their logos. logos. So we'll go to transparent. There we go. So we'll save that image, save it to my desktop, and then we'll pull that image in, and we'll use that image in that little box there maybe. There we go. And then we'll just change these words here. Okay, so I've created a suitable pin for that um, blog. It, it's just a really quick one, to be honest. You can get it much better than this, but it just gives you an idea of how to, to do this. So once you've created your lovely pin using Canva Pro or the free version, you simply click download, choose JPEG and click download. That will then go over, uh, I'll be saved to your computer or your desktop head back into the content that you'd like to add the pin to, find a suitable place. I always pin them near the top, click media library, and then drag your image over into your media library. So you can add your alt tags uh, to your alt titles and your description. On the right hand side there, your alt title is uh, to describe actually what that image is. So Google's saying, what is this image? What's it relating to? So it's a, uh, Pinterest pin for income school course. And then you give it a title, so it's income school course review is there. And then a description. Um, again, so what is it? So 
Pinterest pin for our course review on project 24. Click select, the pin will automatically drop into the place that you selected. And then what I do, now this is personal preference, I usually select 75% size and then I place it in the middle of the content and that's it, click update. That pin is now added to your piece of content. So if we go to preview, you can see now how the pin looks. There we go, I've got a lovely pin there. And um, that, now you can post that pin over to your uh, Pinterest board. And then anybody who clicks that will head over to your website. And anybody who clicks and saves this pin on your um, WordPress blog, can pin that over to their Pinterest ball so you get more shares and more views. So, so there you go. As you can see, it's quite simple and easy to do. It's not much different, to be honest, from adding a normal image, uh, just creating the pins and adding them over to your blog. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I have a ton of new content coming out in the next few weeks. I'm sure you're going to find it really helpful and hopefully it will help you grow your website so you can make more money, so you can spend more time with your family and friends. And at the end of the day, that's what we're all, all here to do. So um, thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.